Hey folks, how y'all doing today? We're going to be cleaning Spanish mackerel and bluefish. I'm going to show you how to clean them. Alright, y'all sit back and enjoy. And how to, how to bag them up and all that good stuff. Alright. Okie dokie. Sorry about that. I got two knives. In case one gets dull. Got a bowl of uh, ice water in it from a fillet. Spanish, I don't have to, it's the skin, they don't have any scales on them, just like a tuna and a tuna family. They're easy, they're pretty easy. I'm gonna come here like this. Cut them right here behind the head. A lot of meat there. And I cut all my bones out. Oh, some pretty meat there, y'all. Cross here. I need a Spanish mackerel. Just one fillet. How's that look? Cut the stomach wall out. Make sure there's no rib cage. Don't want no bones. If I gotta pick bones out, to me, this ain't worth eating. A lot of waste, but that's just me. I cut that completely off, but some people might like it. And I got a bucket down there after my scraps in. One fillet. Got a lot of ice water right here. And here, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this one different. I'm gonna fillet this one. And I take that knife and I bend it down. There's a little slot over the fish. Good sharp bait. And this video turns out all right. Some bones right up in this area near the rib cage. Slice them out the way. Oh yeah, nice, nice fish. Now I'm gonna clean a little blue fish. I'll show you how to do this one. We are flam. Just right on down. Instead of scaling them, I'll skin the fish. There's mostly a bad substance in the skin of the fish. PCBs and that kind of stuff. Any contaminants in the water. And as I got, I, I, I flipped them over. And now I'm gonna go down the side of the skin. Just be real careful, don't cut yourself. All right, look at that boy. Takes a lot of time from scaling a fish. And I cut the stomach wall right out of that fish. Rip cage, that is. There we go. And I'll uh, do the other side, flip them right on over, get close to that head, there's a lot of meat in there in that head. I love saltwater fishing. I 
low at all. And I'll take that knife right here. You gotta keep a sharp knife, unlike my squirrel cleaning video. Just glaze that thing right across there. Like that. There she is. Nice and clean. No scales on that thing. A little silver, that's a little bit of trace of the skin, but that's no scales on that. There she is. Old Taylor Blue. Anyway, y'all, just a little quick demonstration, and after I get through, I'll come back in a minute, I'll show you, but bagging them up, alright? Alright, now we're going to bag the fish up. With all that good stuff. Alright. And you see I got them in ice water. And a lot of people use different methods. I take my fillets. Drop them down in here. Nice and neat. Spanish fillet. That's pretty oh, that's pretty neat. Spanish mackerel that is. I have a mixture of blue fish and Spanish mackerel. I have fish and chips in one night. I like to cut them up little little nuggets or strips. That's too too many for that bag. That's enough for one one helping. One meal. I gotta get enough room. Hold on. Put some more blues in there. Another Spanish filet. All right. And as you see, and the water helps get the any kind of if there is any scale or anything on there. It helps clean the fish up. Well, I'll take I'll take the bag, and I'll just. I get all the air out like a like a food saver bag. There we go. All the air is out of the bag. Oh, well, 95% of the air anyway. And I marked it. 5914 five, Spanish and Blues. Alright, that's one bag. And uh lay some lays in there nice and neat. Blues. Yeah, pretty blue filet. Oh, these fish are ice cold without dark. The cold water helps toughen them up. So they won't be limp and all that kind of stuff. Just when meat gets warm it gets you know different state anyway got these uh let me get the air out of the bag Let's see i'll press down on the bag and we've done different ways over the years freezing and uh, milk jugs with water and all kind of stuff but it seems to be the best way there you go, Spanish and Blues. I'll be putting them in the freezer. Wipe, wipe my hands off when I operate that camera. Make sure there's nothing left in there. No. Put it down in the garden. I'm going to bury the fish eggs in the garden, too. Alright. Get this camera straight.
Anyway, y'all, I want to thank y'all for watching. And that's how I clean fish. Didn't take that long. Of course, you know, I pause the video and uh, this is the second part of the video, but I'm making all in one. But there we go. That's how I clean Spanish mackerel and blues and most types of fish. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Hey, y'all have a great one. Please subscribe. This is Kenny. Over and out. Supper five.